Ladies and gents, welcome to my channel. Um, all right, so last time we delivered a tractor here to Barstow. Uh, we're going to head into the town. You know, let's see what jobs we have here, though, first. I, I kind of need to sleep before I take a job, but let's just take a look and see what's available. Eh, nothing super exciting. Sacramento. Uh, for very low money. So we're going to roll into Barstow here. Um, we're going to stop at the repair shop. Maybe we'll get gas first. The problem is with Barstow is that gas is on one side of town. Though we have plenty of gas to get to uh, the next gas station, so maybe we'll just let it go. It's saying we have 679 miles of gas left, so forget it. We'll just... That's as long as the trip we just did, honestly. Some speeding. I usually speed like crazy in this game by mistake. I guess trucks have a 30 mile an hour speed limit because even where it says 35, it's still 30. So maybe semi trucks have a 30 mile an hour speed limit. Well, there's the Hody Heck. Eh, I think we probably should stay at the hotel. My guy, my poor guy, has been sleeping in the non sleeper cab for like a week now. It's, eh, but you know what? Honestly, even when I have been playing the Believe It or Not, when I've been playing the game by myself without being on YouTube, I actually still stop at the hotels when I can to give my guy a break. I know it's not realistic and it doesn't really do anything in the game, but I thought you'd be happy to know that I'm staying with the realism part of the game. So now it's nighttime, unfortunately. It's going to be an all-night drive. Oops, I turned the wipers on. <laughs> We are going to roll over to the repair shop, get our truck fixed up, and take a look at sleeper cabs. Don't tell Ryan. You didn't hear that, did you, Ryan? Hear what? What? He wasted my money on what? <laughs> but I'm so tired and sore. Special attack button. It's the button on the back of the controller that's covered up by your game case. <laughs> oh. Alright, so we're gonna soyvis the truck. Yes, repair everything for a hundred bucks. I wonder how long that co-insurance lasts or if it lasts forever. Or if you have to make insurance payments. I can't believe I'm still out there blasting music. Oh, yeah, let's see. So this so the total cost is wow, $45,000 to go up to that cab cuz you have to get the longer wow, and it takes your paint job off. It refunds it to you. Oh, man, that is expensive. Ooh. Well, I would have to say probably not now, you know, because Oh, I want to, but that's just too much money right now. Uh, it won't be down the road, but for... Oh, and look at the... the we could hop it up with a luxury interior. Do, 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 do. Why can't we see in the back? I hate that. Mm, I actually kind of like the not luxury interior better. The seats look like the same material. It's not like leather or something, right? Oh, no, I guess they do get upgraded to leather. Mm, well, my drivers can sit on... Cloth seats, they don't need leather. Does cloth feel better than leather? No, nah, not necessarily. I like the feel I like the the look and the feel of leather. Seats, they look, they took my pipe away. I mean what is all this crap? All my pipe my pipes are gone. Yeah. My wife, right, my rifle has a weird like curve to the shit. All the bullets I fire are curved to the right. Watch your mouth. When they're far away. If they get close they'll be like, Boy, I gotta admit though, that looks pretty sweet. Um, I don't know, fifty thousand dollars. We have the money to do it. Uh, leave me with five thousand bucks for my. Oh, you can have different side skirts. Oh my gosh! Save for the next truck. Oh, Ryan, I don't know if I can. Oh, it's so beautiful. Who cares? Ooh. Oh, look at it. Look, look at how cool that looks. Fighting a giant dinosaur. Look at it. Oh, he's fighting a di a dinosaur. He won't look. 
he was all, he keeps almost dying. Look at that. Day. Look at how cool that that freaking truck looks. You don't like it? Let's go box. Like an egg box. Egg carton. But it's my egg carton. I thought you said you hated things that look like eggs. I like this truck. <laughs> Nope, we're not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. Leave. Okay, go. Run, Arthur. Run. Run while you still can. <laughs> oh, back to my little crappy truck. <laughs> you, Ryan. It's all your fault. Well, it's okay because we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna get up. Uh, I want to upgrade this truck. <laughs> okay, well, later. It'll come later. We'll have... Upgrade that truck. Just give it away and then get a better one. Crap that was so cool looking. Man, okay, well, anyway, go to the job board. I'm over it. Move along. Oh, man, we got crappy jobs. What the heck? Hornbrook? We, I, haven't, I haven't been to Hornbrook. That'll give us another, maybe two cities. Looks like we're going to go through. Uh, we'll stop at Oakdale to get that, to get it, you know. We haven't been to Eureka. I haven't been to Eureka yet. All right, so we'll take this dumper to Eureka. I have to say, using this rifle will be a problem later on, though. Hmm. I don't know what he's talking about. It does a lot, but not enough damage to it to kill it. It takes a long time. You gotta stay far away to shoot them from afar. It takes a lot longer because it does like half the damage the sword I use does. Damage. I can't upgrade it because the next upgrade for the rifle I need a boss that I have not unlocked yet. An unlock boss. Ew, that's gross. That's like uh, Far Cry 4. Oh, because you just hunt? Yeah, this is a cruddy job. Oh well, it's unlocking a lot of stuff for us, so I guess it's worth it in that sense, but it's a long drive for that small amount of money. Yeah, I'm not making good money. And I could be doing it in a sleeper cab, but because of you, I'm not. I'll be glad in the long run. No, I want to upgrade this one. Yeah, somebody did say that it's, and I don't know if this is necessarily true. They said it's cheaper to upgrade them. Oh, that's a big trailer. Uh, after, or to upgrade, it's cheaper to buy them with all the parts than to upgrade them to have those parts. Uh, you know, and I, I, I believe it. I mean, it, it I don't know. Because you only get half back for the parts that you had originally, but if you buy it stock, it could be a lot less money. So, I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is, but... What, you're going to throw up, you said? Yeah. Well, don't throw up on me. Well, that's... Yeah, that is a big, big trailer. Wow. It didn't look so big from inside, but out here it's huge. And tall. I don't know. Such a cool looking truck. That reminds me. Time to get the screenshot. Let's do it. You guys can join me for this one. Go into photo mode, get some a night oh it's kinda dark. Hmm. What if we go over on this side of the truck? Uh oh I'm pressing the wrong keys. Hmm. We'll wait till later. It's too dark. It's too nightish outside. I didn't hit him! What? Oh, bull pucky. Maybe I did. Ah, no damage? Come on, I didn't get the guy. That was a, a fraudulent lawsuit right there. I must have tapped him. 
That's the one thing about having the steering dead end again. So it's like I, I'm pushing the steering wheel all the way and it just didn't turn fast enough. So I kind of, I was like, uh oh, that was, that was going too fast. Oh, of course, that's the opposite problem. Yeah, this is a kind of a heavy trailer. Oh, it's 41,000 pounds. That's why it feels heavy. All right, so now we're going to get going here. We are on our way north, heading for Hornbrook. And interestingly, it's just sand. We're just carrying sand. <gasps> I forgot to get gas. Rats. I am going to need it. 379 miles to go on the tank that I have. I thought it said 600. It must have said 400 something. Oh, well. What are you going to do? We'll get it when we need it. Hopefully. Oh, this is a weird freeway exit. That's kind of scary. This is one of those... Uh, Awkward exits. Wow, it's dark out here. Oh man. Try to be using our blinkers here because we're going to be going up this hop up here and it's going to. We aren't going to be gaining any speed. Oops. I got my cruise control and my steering set on the same control. That's why I'm. Oftentimes jerk around when I'm trying to set my cruise for the higher speeds. <laughs> That's probably not the best setup. There we go. Yeah, I don't expect to run across anybody on these back roads. Hey, we might. There's a herd of tumbleweed crossing the road again. Look at that, 7,000 tumbleweeds. What on earth? We need to tone, tone that back a little bit in the next patch. Just a little bit over the top. I honestly like these back roads. I enjoy doing, taking the back roads places. There's a motel. Now, when we get to, and I think I said this before, but when we get to uh, hopefully the point where we have more states, that's when the, the, the day cab, and obviously even the trips that I've been taking lately probably could use a night cab, but uh, a nighttime sleeper cab. But uh, definitely when you're traveling cross country, you probably should have a, a, a night cab or a sleeper cab. What do you call them? Like, what do you call them, Ryan? It's a sleeper, isn't it? Apparently, I don't know either. Semi truck. Actually, a lot of the a lot of the truckers in America are, are foreign now. That guy that showed us the kids the inside of his truck. We were at a, a gas station, and my wife was like, "Hey, can we see the inside of your truck?" He was totally like, he he was some sort of Slovenian. I don't know if he was. Uh, if he, I don't know what country he was from, but he was he was not American. <laughs> sure, I show you inside of my truck. It was pretty cool. I mean, he let he let I you know he let me bring the kids over. We all looked inside, you know. Yeah, that was really cool. He had uh, in his door. His door was completely filled with nuts and bolts, like the, you know, you have that like map, slash cup up uh, down at the bottom of the door. You can't see it in this truck. I'm trying to look down. You can't see it. Um, was it a Peterbilt or a Kenworth? I think it was a Peterbilt too. That, that was my inclination, so I'm glad you said that because that was what I thought it was too. So I must have been right. Uh-oh, we must be in Vegas. 65. No, 55. Okay. Um, and so he let, when I was when he opened the door, I noticed that that little pocket there was completely filled with nuts and bolts. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you know, in these trucks, you know, it's all it's, it wasn't. I don't want to say it was dirty, but it was like, you know, you could definitely tell he's. Yeah, he'd been working hard in that truck. <laughs> it wasn't clean inside. You know, there's maps and papers and stuff all over. I'm sure like log log book pages and stuff like that. You know, just like all over the cab, and uh, that that. 
that door thing was just a, a sign of it, but it, it shows you those guys, they have to work on everything. You know, I'm, I'm positive you have to work on your own truck, and I'm sure that can wear you out over time, you know. But uh, always have extra bolts on hand, obviously. He's learned to carry them over the years. Watch my speed here. Now here comes Bakersfield, so we were, we're moving north here. This Peter built dealership is like in an odd place where you drive by it, but it doesn't recognize it. I've been by it four or five times now. And uh, oops, I forgot to turn my brights off. Whoa, I'll turn my brights off and crash right into you. How does that sound? <laughs> I'm trying to use my keyboard at the same time I'm using my joystick. It's, it's not working out. <laughs> like, what game were you guys playing? Okay. So there's the truck we're going to be buying next. Uh, and it probably will be a day cab too, honestly. Just the money is tight right now. We don't have money for... We don't have money for fancy sleeper cabs. They cost a lot of money. Mm. Go on, bro. I remember when I was a little kid, my mom and I rode a bus to visit her friend in Atlanta. Her best friend moved to Atlanta. And uh, so we, maybe after she'd been down there for a year or two, she's like, you gotta come down and visit. So my mom was like, all right. So we hopped the bus, a trailways bus, and took that down from here to Atlanta. And uh, it was quite an experience. It was a long drive. It took us, I want to say two days. At least that's what it felt like. <laughs> but it was fun. I enjoyed it. And then uh, also when I was a little kid, I took a train from Cleveland to Chicago. And that was fun. Huh? Well, um, I think, gosh, it must have been when Nancy and Bill got me. No, it could have been. Whoa. Something with my aunt, because she lived. They lived in Kankakee, Illinois, and uh, something about something they were doing, or I, maybe maybe it was her marriage or her wedding, or maybe a baby was being born. Or I I don't know. But grandma and grandpa went, and my grandpa was like, you know, it'd be fun if you guys took the train, you know, give you an, you know, my mom was young and I was really little, probably like five or six, and I think uh, you that far back? he just. He, <laughs> I don't know, Ryan. I do. I don't remember, like, exact details, but I, I have vague memories of being at the train station and thinking it was really cool to see the engine. I remember it being an, an F-type. Like an F7 or F8 or something like that. Or E8, maybe. It was Amtrak. I remember riding in the train. It was a long trip. I think it took us, you know, overnight. Because in Cleveland, the train comes in at like 3 o'clock in the morning and then heads to Chicago from there. But it's a it's like a 10-hour trip or more. That was a really fun time. I know nowadays it's, it's, it's as expensive to take an airplane as it is to take to drive a, or fly an airplane. I'm sorry. It's an expense. <laughs> you can tell it's getting late. It's as expensive to fly as it is to take a train, so you're almost better off just flying because you get there faster. But if you're going across country, and you're going through beautiful country, like going through the West, and you want to see the West, then you might want to take a train because that's a fun way to do it. I'd I would love personally to to pick up a train in Colorado and take it, you know, through the mountains into California. That would be an awesome trip. Like go through New Mexico and Arizona or either or or Colorado and Utah something like that I 
We're making good time. Got about 12 hours to go. I gotta rest on eight. It's been a, a all night drive for sure. The, it's starting to become dusk. The sun's starting to come up. You, you gotta stop yawning, Ryan. You're making me yawn. I, yeah. Hubcap. Brian's the one who said hubcap, by the way. You were just a little rubus. It is weird, that whole growing up thing, Ryan. Like, now I've got this, like six foot tall muscular hairy teenager you, you used to be this like cute little kid you know <laughs> little apple cheeks you, and your own quiet little personality you were when you were little you didn't yeah that's what I'm saying you, you, you're pretty you're pretty outgoing when you're like around people you know, but you're you're a very kind of I don't want to say introverted, but you're very you're a very quiet kind of keep to yourself person. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just fun. <laughs> and a little crabby too. If you're not hearing me talking much, it's because I keep yawning. I know, I'll try not to yawn real loud on the on the microphone. I'm like... <laughs> Seth is real outgoing. Evelyn is pretty shy, but she'll talk on the microphone. But she is kind of shy. And then Violet's very outgoing. And we'll see. Mater seems like he's going to be outgoing. Yeah, Mark obviously is the group leader. He's always trying to get people to follow him. I know. He wants to start a, a club when he gets back, like a hiking slash outdoor slash uniform. He's always loved uniforms. That's probably why he loves the military. He's always liked, you know, any kind of any kind of outfit or uniform thing he he likes. You know what he should do? What did you say he's thinking he should join the Marines now? Oh god. Anyway, he's gonna, uh, he should be a costume designer for Hollywood. He loves putting stuff together like that. He always has. Like, I always thought there was a guy, I forget what his name was, but he did all the wardrobes and stuff for, I mean, he does all kinds of movies, but he also did, uh, Star Wars. Uh, what was his name? Oops, I'm driving off the road. And he was the one that would, like, pick out uniform pieces for the, the costumes for the Star Wars characters. And obviously had a really good, you know, sense of, of what a uniform should look like, what, you know, Han Solo's clothes should look like. Like, he just had, like, you know, he made the look that is Star Wars. Um, you know, those the artists that drew all the, or painted, Joe Johnston was the big artist on the Star Wars stuff. He did all the set designs and, and ship designs, and, and he also did a lot, well, not just Joe Johnston, but he was, he was kind of like the, the uh, main contributor and he did uh, and then uh, the, I can't remember the other guy's name but I have these somewhere downstairs I have these old books called The Art of Star Wars uh, it's a three it's one book for each movie in the in the, the trilogy and it's all the old movies so it's not like I'm not talking about like the stupid Phantom Menace or the stupid Jar Jar Binks or any of the new stupid crappy movies that they came out with uh, except for the last one, I love the new movie. the The one that just came out with Han Solo in it is what, Ryan? What? Uh, yeah, it wasn't the best movie ever made, but it was a great movie. No, I still like the original three the best, but it was the great. It's it was great. It was a, it's it's a good movie. Uh, but anyway, um, this art book has all of the concept art that went into making. 
the Star Wars movies. It's really a great series of books. It's probably my... I haven't looked at them for a while. I should probably go down there and find I'm going to go downstairs and find them after this. What? I am pretty sure they're down in the basement. Um, but they have all the concept art from all the Star Wars movies. And it's really cool. Uh, from costume design to uh, like paintings for the backgrounds to uh, storyboarding and all that stuff. Like the ship design process. It was just an interesting thing. And everything was done by hand back then. You know, nowadays it's all this crappy computer. I love computers. I'm a computer nerd. I love video games. I love things that are designed on computer. But there's something about those old movies, even with the corny, you know, special effects and stuff, that it just felt more real. Uh, you go back and watch the old Star Wars movies, and, and, you know, they've cleaned them up a little bit with the computer, but they still kept the original model. It looks so good. It, it just looks so, so good. And the new stuff, you can just tell it's computer animation. And I, I, I don't know. I mean, computer animation is cool and stuff, but, like, it can also be way overdone. And most producers don't know when to stop and they overdo it. And I, I just I feel like there's something about using models that just makes it look real. Obviously, the lighting and all that stuff, it's, it is real, it is real right. It's not, it's not overly high def. It's not overly... Uh, computerized it's, it's not perfect it looks wrong and that makes it look right because in real life things are not perfect <laughs> there's flaws and that's what modeling picks up these guys coming out of this shoot are gonna be chopping up the bit to crash into the side of my truck there we go nobody was there alrighty so we are five hours away from a rest stop here and Nine hours and 20 minutes away from our destination. This is a long drive. I didn't realize this was going to be this far. Definitely not worth the $13,000. Uh, if I could have picked something else better, I would have. Something that has like an either a uh, fragile bonus or some kind of ADR bonus. This is just like like straight up driving and no, no bonuses. This might have the long distance bonus, but it's still, it's really low pay. A trip like this, the last time I drove a trip like this was from Los Angeles to Jackpot, which is about the same distance, and it was uh, $28,000 or $25,000. Yep, that was the one I did last night. Oh, they stopped for me. Thank you. That was it's a good way to get yourself killed, stopping on the freeway. Dennis, are you proud of me? Mr. Man, are you proud? I stopped. I didn't rush on. A kindly person let me on instead, but I did the way you're supposed to do it. Dennis was yelling at me. He's ready to rip my face off because I kept pulling out without stopping. And you, you know, in America, in America, America, um, you usually can just pull right onto the freeway. You don't have to. Like people will get over as you're coming down the ramp, so that they're supposed to be. They don't always, but usually they will get over and make room for you to get on. Unless there's too much traffic. And then everybody slows down because the traffic just comes to a halt. Dang it, they keep changing speeds on me. This is the freeway. Why are we going 35 on the freeway? Really? Okay, now it's 55. Make up your freaking mind. Those are cool buildings. We must. That's Sacramento here, it says. So that must be a, uh, an edifice that is found in Sacramento. Did you like my use of that word, Ryan? Edifice? 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 We shall go 55! San Rafael. San Power Cable. San Cadillac. And we're passing truckies. That's Route 80. We're going to be crossing over the top of Route 80. And I think... Eh, we still got four hours till night-night. But what sucks is this is going to put us back on the, the night shift. Hopefully we'll be able to find a hotel. Oh, I could have had that sleeper cab, Ryan. I could be resting right now in my sleeper cab. What? 
It would be forty thousand dollars. I think it might be worth it. Stop being right. It's your default setting. <laughs> yeah, you and mom. God, mom's always right. Oh, you have to do garbage in the morning, by the way. Be sure you pull Scion out because you're going to have to get all those bags out. Huh? What? Okay, good. Do it at 9 because they've been coming a lot earlier. Yeah, it's not exciting, I know. Ah, the speed limit's 35 here. Because of the intersection. Look, there's a copper. Mm -hmm. 55. Oops, I didn't see what that sign said. I should have read that. I was busy looking at my speedometer as I was setting my cruise control. So, I wonder if we're going to get pulled in here. I haven't... The last one? No, we do. Here we go. It looks like an Eindecker. There's two airplanes flying around there. Gotta watch your speed coming into these things. They'll bust you. I, got, I think I videoed it. I got busted pulling into one. Like going 25 and a 20. They will bust you, but... They're inspecting my load. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, so we need to find sleep, sleepy spots soon. What is a biplane? It's not an Eindecker. Eindecker has one wing. The Eindecker is a Weltwall one. It was the was it? It's one of the early monoplanes, but uh, it's not the first. It might have been the first in combat, though. I don't know. Most of those pilots, because they, you know, had low horsepower engines and stuff, they preferred multiple wings to give them the the lift advantage. <laughs> Just flew over. Another cop. We see you. Oh, there's the. There he is. What kind is it? Is it a? My guess is that once again a steerman. It looks like a steerman, but it looks like it's got a uh, Swiss paint scheme on it there with the red wrap around on the, the the back of the fuselage there by the tail, like how the Swiss do it. That'd be like a tiger moth or something with the. But there were all yellow uh, steermen. They had all yellow, and then they had yellow and blue. And nowadays they have all kinds of different colors, but the, the military colors were either yellow and blue or all yellow. Oh, what movie? I think it was, uh, was it Tora 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 that had the steerman in it, Ryan? Where he was flying along, they were flying along, and all of a sudden the Japanese fighters were, like, surrounding him, and the other guy was like, oh! Like, they were out, they were out as in, they were out actually instructing. They ran across him. Uh, on that battle, if I recall correctly, there were two P-40 Warhawks. Only two of them were able to get off the ground. They did shoot down... I think 11 or 14 oh. aircraft between the two of them before. I don't even know that they got shot down. I think they stayed flying, if I remember right. What, Mark? Brian? Yeah, they did great. They weren't expecting it, you know, and they still were able to fight. It was like that one guy. There was some guy that like got onto a machine gun on one of the ship decks. Didn't he get shot like a hundred times and lived and went on to serve? Oh, they, 
He ran away from the hospital and he came back himself. to put fires out. And then drove himself home. <laughs> He's like Roy Foker, but he lived. <laughs> Some people are just amazing. <sighs> yeah, I'm there with you, buddy. I'm yawning too. Hopefully we can find somewhere to rest here. I don't... Once again, it seems like they... Uh... Oh, dang, my microphone is attacking me. Ugh. Oh, it's knocking my monitor over. Stop it. Okay, hold on. Let me get this situated again. I, it, my my pivot must have come loose, and the thing is like swinging around like a, like a like a wrecking ball. I freaking hate Miley Cyrus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you like her music. It's oh 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 oh. Oh well. I think even if I was young and hot, I wouldn't sit naked on a wrecking ball for my video. <laughs> it's, just, it's just wrong in so many ways. Okay. Good example for her children. What, Ryan? It is. It is a messed up place, but it's just, it still shocks me sometimes. <laughs> Like, totally not using your musical talent to get ahead, but... <laughs> <sighs> Pulling a Madonna. Okay, we are in a place to rest. I know, I'm trying. I've been trying. There we are. Got gas. Went to sleep. We've lost some money because we've paid our loan. And unfortunately, we're not going to get a whole heck of a lot back because... Well, this load of sand isn't worth anything much I love the wiper sound that is what wipers sound like <laughs> I need we need to get we need speaking of wipers I need we need to get that window replaced on the car the Cyan XB needs a lot of work Yeah, it's got a gas leak somewhere, and it's starting to stink now inside the car. We, we, we took it to the shop twice to have them look at it, because the light kept coming on saying that there was a gas leak. And they're like, no, nah, we can't find anything. And now, like, it's totally starting to smell like gas inside the compartment when you drive. And I'm like, uh... So, and then it has a bad bearing somewhere in the, like, in the timing lit Or not timing belt, but the fan belt. So when the car runs, when you stand outside, it's like this grinding metal, like... <laughs> It's horrible. Oh, it's horrible sounding. So that needs to be done. It needs new wheel or new tires. It's got a hole somewhere in the exhaust. Well, it's got 114 or 115,000 miles on it. We, How many did it have when we got it? Was it 80? So, I mean, we've gotten, you know, 45,000 miles out of that car so far. and With really no money put into it yet. It's been a great car. <laughs> How much what? Well, because it's funny looking. It is funny looking, but it's I love it. I love the way it looks. I always love that car. It's the original for those that we've talked about before, but it's the uh, it's the first year model. So uh, 2004 was the first year, and it's a 2004 model. So uh, it's really boxy. No angles, all box. What'd you say, Ryan? What does she want? To go up there? For what? Huh? It doesn't concern me. So shut my hole. Shut your pie hole. Oh, you have to get off here. Whoa. Well, the good news is I'm seeing Hornbrook on the signs now and Sissybrook. So we are getting close. They're probably eight hours away. Which in game time is like eight, eight minutes. This is really t 
complete. Alright, so we're accelerating out of the gate. And gonna get in this lane here. Oh, this guy, come on, let me over. Thank you. You could get over, dude. Got a whole open lane there. Yeah, maybe not. Oh no, only two hours. Only two hours away. Whoa. I didn't realize we were that close. Huh. We still got seven hours to get there. Hmm. Oh shoot, I forgot to stop in Oakdale or whatever it was. Did we pick it up? Let's take a look at the map. Um. Hmm. Shoot, did it pick it up? What are the what are the? Nope, it didn't. Oh, you gotta be kidding! We drove right past it and it didn't give it to me. And there's nothing there either. Uh. Yeah, that sucks. Wow, I was right there and it didn't give it to me. Oh well. That was the whole point of going this route was to do that stupid get two cities in one. Oh well, we'll get Hornbrook, but that sucks. Big freaking disappointment. Makes me want to cry. Man, it is a dark night. And not to be confused with Batman. What does this say? Oh man, we are losing speed here. Techno disco tonight. Hmm. Well, I bet you this is a pretty drive in the day. There's an ambulance. Pretty steep turn there. Yeah, we are still climbing. Look at that. This is a big hill. I've never been to Hornybrook. That sounded terrible. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to be an old codger and turn. <laughs> ended up being an old man. Never mind. <laughs> Try to do something good and it just turns out bad. And then you gotta go feel dirty for a while. Um, so we have six hours remaining. Yeah, changing the subject. Uh, we have one hour, less than an hour left. And we arrive. And here is a foggy mountain pass. This is pretty cool up here. I think. It's hard to see anything because it's nighttime and it's foggy. And it was raining. Yeah, we're up in the mountains for sure. Mm. And the road to Portland is closed. Well, I, I'm looking forward to that, too. You know what? Oregon and Washington, if they do those states, that'd be really cool. You could set up for some really cool, beautiful driving, you know, through the Mount, Hel Saint, Mount, <laughs> Mount St. Helens area, Mount Rainier. You know, obviously Seattle's beautiful. Portland is beautiful. You've got... Uh, Oh, uh, all the islands, Vancouver, you could have a ferry across to Vancouver. I don't know, there's so much potential. This game, it, it hopefully will do well. Like I said, I, I I would hate to see it not do well and, and not be able to take advantage of those kind of potential situations. Oops, I almost stalled. So here we are in Hornbrook, and it looks like it has all the services. So that's good. We got bed, we got gas, we got we got gas. Um, so you can see here we're just oh, 16 of 20. Unfortunately, it could have been 17 of 20. God dang it! But they screwed us. All right, our delivery is straight ahead, so it's not. I thought it'd be here left, but I think we're we must be delivering this to the um, construction here. Dead end, huh? Well, they're working on it. Um, so 
Thanks to Ryan, uh, I will be over the $60,000 mark. We'll be about halfway. Eh, not quite, but almost halfway to our final goal of the money we need to uh, buy another truck. Right now, we're not at that goal, but we will be soon. All right, so we're going to back ourselves in. I really can't see anything because it's pretty dang dark out here. I like sand. Well, I'm hitting something. <laughs> I'm not sure what, but... Don't ask, don't look. No one knows, no one's, no one knows. So in real life, would you continue on? Because we have enough energy to go. I got gas and, uh... I got enough gas to take another almost full day trip. Well, I went 10,000 miles. That was pretty cool. And my experience goes way up. We're still on level 10, but... Wow, that was fun. Okay, new upgrades available still. What? No, we saw all those already. Ooh, diamond interior. Classic interior. Okay, anyway, uh, so... I think that about does it for the night. We'll pick up here uh, tomorrow morning and figure out where we're going to go from there. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Definitely long episodes, uh, and that is just how the game's going to go. As long as we have those long-distance episodes, I might eventually, if they get really long, have to split them into two. Right now it's about an hour episode, so I don't want to really go over that. I try to keep actually episodes at half an hour, but that's just how it's been working out. So have a great night, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe. We'll be doing a lot more American Truck Simulator. And like I said, we may even go back and revisit Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, unfortunately, with the World of Tanks, as I get going and the headaches start, it just keeps me from recording because I just don't, I can't play as much as I used to. So anyway, but uh, some nights I feel better than others as far as that goes. Sometimes I don't get the headaches, but it's really weird how games can do that. First-person shooters seem to do it a lot, and these games really don't do it at all. So, all right, guys, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. I will see you on the road.